longest serving independent member of Congress in U.S. history, says the House set an important precedent last night showing the nation that inciting violence is an impeachable offense. Local 22's Jolie Sherman spoke with Senator Bernie Sanders about it one on one. I sat down with Vermont's junior senator and former two-time Democratic presidential candidate hours after the House voted to impeach President Trump again. When asked if Trump's video response was enough, Bernie Sanders was clear. No, this president should have been and should be much more aggressive in saying, hey, stay out of Washington, D.C. Joe Biden is elected. He won the election. Let it be. About 20,000 National Guard members will be present on Inauguration Day next week, but Sanders says he expects it to go peacefully. For the rioting uh, that took place last week was, is beyond belief. Uh, the Capitol Police were totally unprepared, and, and we're going to deal with why that happened. I don't believe that's going to happen for the inauguration. Now, as the nation's attention turns to the Senate, who will carry out Trump's impeachment trial, Sanders says it's imperative lawmakers don't lose sight of priorities and other unprecedented issues brought on by the pandemic. So what we cannot do, cannot do, is spend a long period of time on the impeachment and ignore the needs of the American people. The pandemic is at its worst right now. More people are dying than ever before, getting sick, hospitals overwhelmed. We're looking at an economic meltdown where millions of people have lost their jobs and their income. When the Democrats assume control of the Senate, it's expected Sanders will chair the Senate Budget Committee. He says he'll push for legislation that helps those struggling with job loss, eviction, nutrition and health care, as well as quicken the vaccination rollout. So we've got to significantly accelerate uh, the distribution of the vaccine, getting those vaccines into people's arms and make sure that we have the number of vaccines that we need as quickly as possible. Despite the nation's long term and immediate crises, Sanders says, quote, there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel. I think better days are coming and I think we've got a new administration who understands the severity of the crisis. Uh, I look forward to working with him uh, to address the situation here in Vermont and, and around the country. Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News.